Wow, wow, wow. Guys, can you believe it? We've been waiting for this. And someone gifted us with a leak. I don't know if uh, many of you know that. This trailer was actually leaked and Roxel was like, well, can't have people watching in poor quality because that is exactly what we were going to do. We're not going to sit and wait. Wow. I'm excited and sad at the same time. Going to be honest. Can't help but think about Red Dead Redemption 2 and how excited I was when I saw the trailer and how sad I felt because you know something is up. I can't help but feel this game is gonna bring excitement and another level of storytelling if I'm being honest. Roxa has been very good with storytelling. GTA 5 wasn't a big fan of the storytelling. Red Dead Redemption 2, couldn't get enough of it. Red Dead Redemption 1, couldn't get enough of it. I've got a feeling this game is gonna have a very, very deep story. I think this is gonna be a very toxic relationship between these two, but I feel like it's gonna be a very engaging story. I don't know if uh, someone stuffs someone else over, Jason stuffs uh, Lucia over, and she ends up going to prison, and when she gets out, he's like making it in the world, and she's like after him or something. But I can't help but feel that there's gonna be a split. You you're gonna fall in love with the characters, there's gonna be a split, and then hopefully they get back together at the end, or not, so we'll see, but I am super pumped, this trailer was very sought after, it really didn't disappoint, I severely hope this is in-game footage, um, a lot of people are saying this is a cinematic trailer, I'm not so sure, this looks very very in-game, if you ask me. That's all from me, I am super pumped for this game, like I said, I feel like the story is gonna be very sad, but can't wait to get into it. 2025, let's go.